to realize that, but how many of us know exactly how it all works? New Center's Bill Connor tonight on the effort to educate the public on this vital work. The Jaws of Life, Rope Rescue, Advanced Life Saving Technique, all designed to help the people entrusted with our safety work faster and more effectively. Uh, saving more lives, that's the bottom line. The Portland Police, Fire and Rescue teams had a feeling the public didn't know enough about all of this, didn't know where our tax dollars go. So they took over Monument Square to show it all off. The whole science of life-saving has progressed tremendously in the past 20 years or so. There are people who live today who simply wouldn't have back then. Uh, 20 years ago, uh, it was basic first aid, treat the victim, advance their injuries and transport. Today, we're able to uh, stabilize the victim on scene. We, we virtually bring the emergency room to the scene now. That means accident victims can be stabilized more quickly and treated on the spot. One innovation, a tool that breathes for those who can't breathe on their own. We slide it through. Put simply, today's rescuers have to know a lot to do their jobs well. It's very complicated. You have to know the anatomy, the physiology, the uh, pharmacology. It's quite a lot of uh, training, up to, uh, 2000, up to 2,000 hours of training for a paramedic. They also tried to remind the public to avoid the dangers. That's what this was for. It's called a convincer, designed to convince us that a five-mile-an-hour car crash is nothing to take lightly. There's a strong feeling against you. Like your whole body goes forward with a, with a, when you hit. And that's just at five miles an hour. Knowing what more severe crashes are like, rescuers like these men and women strive to block the line between life and death. In Portland, Bill Connor, News Center. Today's demonstration in Portland was part of Emergency Medical Services Week nationwide. About